my options, worked off my dues, played all the cards, now there's nothing to lose. Don't want tomorrow to be like today, that's why I'm breaking away. Should be spread like butter. Here we go, lads. Eh? Another Friday afternoon lecture on the deficiency of German workmanship. I'm just making a comment, aren't I? You know, as a craftsman, like. Why oh, you not? You just can't stand bloody Germans, man. Yeah, what was it last week, Scaffolding? Shuddering. Scotland was too big to be. Look, man, all I'm saying is, I wouldn't like to live in them houses when they're finished. I mean, in a couple of years' time. The walls of them will have more holes in than Newcastle United's back four. Well, in which case, they'll be a little bit more mobile, won't they? That's where the term Jerry built comes from, you know. Oh, get away, man. Rubbish. It is, man. That's well, common sense, isn't it? Jerry built. Built by Germans. Crap quality. Substandard. We did a pretty good job with that Berlin wall, Oz. Dividing the city overnight? Aye. Uh, <laughs> I can't argue with that one. Right. Ah, but that was lads from the east, wasn't it? Union labour. Not untrained scabs like what we're working with here. Shush, man, keep it down. I'm right, I'm right. I know I'm right, man. Yeah, here's a bloke who'll know. Buddy. No, buddy. What? Settle an argument, will you? You know the term jerry built? Well, I see it. That comes from the fact that the crowds build such crap houses. Hey, just put him straight, buddy, yeah. will you? No matter of fact, I can't, then he says. The term Jerry Bills has actually got a biblical source. <laughs> biblical? Where did you get that from? West Bromwich and District Sunday Methodist Quiz Lake, mate. I've captained that team for two years, I did. Put them in three, you know, but... Nah, I mean, I was you, sir, but not one of the children of the Methodist hierarchy. Denzel Robinson, his name was. Made me sick, he did. He was always after my position as captain. But, oh, no, he got it in the end because he was the bloody virgin's son. Makes it sick nepotism, doesn't it? get the point, buddy, yeah? Right, so. Now, it's all to do with the walls of Jericho, you see. Now, Jericho was a city in ancient Israel, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, Joshua and the Israelites were laying siege to it, right? Because it had been captured by a... Uh, somebody else, I, I, I don't I can't remember who it was. Anyway, now, one day, Joshua got a hot tip from our Lord, right, and proceeded to march his men round and round the city walls, right. Now, round and round they went for seven days, right, and at the end of that, they ring the city walls, right, and gave an almighty blast on their trumpets, and the walls fell down. Trumpets? Who was it? The Jewel Loss Orchestra? No, 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 listen, listen, listen. The combined noise of those trumpets, right, caused this amazing sonic vibration, which caused the walls to collapse, right? Hence, built like Jericho is a term of abuse, right? Hence, we have the term Jerry built. There you go. You can't argue with a Bible scholar. Well, them walls couldn't have been very strong in the first place if a few blasts of a trumpet knocked them down, could they? Probably built by a German firm. Aye, there they go. Off to their nice, comfortable homes. Aye, they'll have a big tea waiting for them. Glass of foam and beer. 
slippers worn by the fire. Yeah, yeah, his feet up in front of Coronation Strassen and a quick bit of the old leg over on the city. Is that all you think about, Wing? Take him. Only when I'm awake, Moxie. The night when I'm dreaming, I think of carpentry, don't I? <laughs> right, what's it gonna be tonight, boys, then? A nice bit of gourmet cooking out the hut and then a uh, couple of gallons will be at the club, eh? Hey, that's a good idea, Ross. We haven't done that for uh, 24 hours. Actually, Dennis says it's on a very serious point here, you know. Is he? I've been reading this book recently about health food, see? Uh. And I reckon <laughs> our dietary habits leave a lot to be desired, I do, mate. Especially from the point of view of roughage. What's roughage? <laughs> roughage? <laughs> Tomorrow, you? Well, how, how can I put it? Um, look, if your bowels were Jericho, Roofage would be a trumpet. <laughs> oh, centipods, Lee. <laughs> oh, not quite. No, it's thinking more on the lines of bran or a uh, no, nice vegetable curry. Oh, no, oh, it's a pity you wouldn't Germany, body. Still, eh? You could always nip out to Bradford for a takeaway. Oh, soon, yeah. Eh? <laughs> uh, Bus Bridge, come please. Telephone. For me? Come on, boy. It's probably little woods. You've won the jackpot. Oh, that would be my luck, I ain't. Bet my money, will you now? Aye, sure. Hey, Bubba! Don't bother your favour, man. Ask old Rick if he knows of any Indian restaurants. Ah, there. I'll leave you alone. It's your wife. My wife? Hello, Patsy. What's the matter, girl? You know something, why? I look truly disgusted, Liza. Oh, <laughs> what fat and grease for there's nothing wrong with sausages, Barry. You know, of course, uh, I do need a lot of meat. Keep the old pecker up. So I can understand why you two don't appreciate their finer point. Any aphrodisiacal qualities that those bangers may possess can be equally well obtained from various herbs and spices. Oh, uh, you mean like that, uh, uh, you know, ginseng stuff? A sub moxie, yeah? Ginseng. China's magical root. Yeah. What do I want ginseng for when I can get a magical root with free gin and oranges? Cheap sexual innuendo can't destroy my argument, why? Fancy one, Mux. Oh, yeah, great. Uh, fat grease gristle equals acne and heart attacks, Mux, eh? <laughs> Maybe not, don't we? Has uh, anybody got any spare coins, lads? I'll be phoning Brenda later. I oh, there's some there, there, on the chest now. Oh, cheers, Dad. Yours? Oh, here. Get the bones out, right, lads. I don't know why I'm coughing up. Don't go along with all this soppy behaviour. It isn't soppy, Oz. It happens to be a gesture of affection between two people who are reluctantly parted, that's all. I don't expect you to understand that. What do you mean by that, Lake? You know fine well what I mean. What? Well, the only time your Marjorie ever gets a phone call out to you is when you're wanting money sending. That's not true. I rang on Monday to find out the FA Cup draw, didn't well, I? Well, pack it in, man, will you? It's like bloody St. Trinity's in here some nights. I'm sorry. It's him I'm talking to, man, not you. Oh, it would be me, wouldn't it? Oh, I'm sorry, yours. It's me, man. It's, it's just Friday nights. I get really pissed off, you know? I mean, you work every hour that God sends to try and scrape together a decent few quid, and the only way you can get through the boring, bloody weekends in this horrible hut is to blow all the money you've earned. Ah, uh, you're right, Lee. It's a vicious circle, that's what it is. What, you need a good skin on a beer, eh? That'll soon cheer you up. Right, I'm going to have a club for an aperture. See anybody coming? Yep. Yeah, as soon as me barnet's ready, yeah. Hello. Hey, Wayne, do you want that last baguette? <laughs> I thought the idea of a scouser on ill food was a bit unlikely. Help yourself, son. Oh, great. Cheers. Oh, Wayne, it's gone cold. <laughs> How, how much is this going to cost, Brenda? How much? No, no, I, I'm, not, I'm not complaining, Brenda. I think what the doctor's trying to say is we live now and pay later, is that it? That's the right way. Yes, we live for today without thinking of the consequences of tomorrow. Yeah, you're like that, you know, Wayne. All that taking you get up to. Take its toll one day, you know. Your body will be racked with antisocial diseases. Yeah. Well, if it is, mate, I'll uh, cop for a bit of compensation, won't I? Well, I hardly think the clap counts as an industrial injury. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I work hard enough for it, don't I? Right. I'm off, lads. I'll see you tomorrow. Got to find a young lady down the old town, never, right? <laughs> hey, Barry, you like this one? She makes you pay now and live later. Right. Hey, uh, come on. Oh, 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 oh
Okay, Pat. Poor little push, we must be working overtime tonight. Well then. Oh, uh, sorry, Oryx says there's an Indian restaurant on the uh, Hopwork Straws, and here like. Oh, no, oh, hey, hey, never mind about the restaurant, man. What about the phone call? Oh, it was nothing. Patsy mislaid something at home, that's all. She was just wondering if I knew where he might be. Nothing, nothing. Bloody long phone call to play hunt a slipper, wasn't it, eh? Bummer's business, man, us. <laughs> well, you've just... Uh, it's Bummer's business, mate. Right? Yeah. Well, you were going for a call, then? Yeah, I am. I am going, I'll be, you know. What about you, Bummer? Well, he thinks I'd give it a miss, actually. Then we West Country folk don't go much on East Country grub. Well, go on for a curry never coming. Oh, no, I can't, lads. Sorry. Brenda's putting a squeeze on us again. Oh, man. Gotta think of some way of saving more money. Oh, aye. Right. What's she after now? Some bed or a bloody jacuzzi. <laughs> oh, my wife's domestic priorities are between me and her. All right, Moxie. Hey, lads, lads, man, lads. This is getting ridiculous, this, man. I mean, what happened to the musketeer spirit? You know, we're all turning into a lot of greedy little bastards, ain't we? Look, boys, I'm sure under normal circumstances, both Bomber and Neville would love to accompany us to the restaurant, right? But tonight it's just not possible, OK? Well, I think their behaviour is downright antisocial. Where's the side of the restaurant, was, Bob? We're going to be stuck with Barry and Moxie, aren't they? Well, Off Bergstraws, near the library. Uh, uh, De Kiver, I think it's called. De Kiver, right. Uh, is that the name of the restaurant or the library? Would you believe it, eh? Home from home. Flock wall paper. Tigers. Green Gandhi on guitar. Yeah. Only thing I haven't got today in your castle exhibition ashtrays. Good night, by the hand. Yeah, good night. Um, vier Tisch, bitte. Wie bitte? Uh, um, t t table for four, please. Four. Ach so, einen Tisch für vier Personen. Nehmen Sie bitte Platz. Ah, that's oh. it, that's it. Do you not speak any English? Sprechen Sie, uh, nie English in? Like, Augenblick, Moment. Would you credit it, eh? Indian way, that one, can I speak English? Aye, oh, well, we are in Germany, Oz. Exactly. So why isn't he speaking English? I mean, he's one of us, isn't he? I mean, this is a curry house, isn't it? Can't I get much more British than that, can you, eh? Oz, oh, how many times have I been out for a curry with you in England? I don't know, half a dozen. Aye, right, on an each occasion, no matter where we've been, you've called the Indian waiters either Sabu or Gunga Din, you know? Right. But now we're in Germany, you expect this Indian lad to treat you like some long-lost brother. So what, like? You would have made a great imperialist, you would. Aber du auch Englisch sprechen. Das hast du letzte Woche mit den Amerikanern gemacht. Du bist so unmöglich, Mensch. Mein Kollege spricht Englisch, also sie können ruhig auf Englisch bestellen. Please. 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 Thank you. I don't believe it. The whole menu's in German. It's only one word I understand here. Biryani. Don't even know what that is in English. What's, um, what's Bombay Kartoffen? Yeah, yeah, Gizzle, yeah, Gizzle, Gizzle. I'll handle this. Oh, Sabu, come here. Yeah. Never mind them. Um, look, we want two beers, right? Swab beer. Yeah. yeah. Jug of water for these two. Yeah, be seeing what, sir. Yeah, sorry. And uh, four chicken curries with rice. Mit curry rice? Aye, curry rice. That's it, mit chicken. You know, chicken. Wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should say that, Alice. Yeah, right. sure. Sound there, you are. Spoke English all the time. Cheers, Bob. Well, cheers, Neville. There must be some way I can save a bit more of me money. Aye, uh, this is it. Sitting in at night, feeling bloody miserable. Working man's entitled to his leisure, Neville. Shouldn't feel guilty about it. Uh, I know, I know. It's just, if I earned a bit more, you know, I wouldn't feel so guilty about going out with the lads. Don't be so sure. Bomber's first law of economics is, the more income you gives me, the more I live beyond it. Perhaps you could do the little spare time job. A bit of moonlighting. <sighs> Fat chance. Anyway, what are you doing in tonight, Bomb? You're not saving as well, are you? Not exactly. Bomber just needs to think a bit, that's all. 
don't want to pry, Bomb, but, uh, well, if there's any problem, you know? She's a problem. Tracy, my 16-year-old. What's the matter, like? She ran away from home. Oh, no. Might be not in the car. She left a note. Didn't say she ran off with a used car salesman or some big group. So what are you going to do? Phone the police? We've already did that this morning. I've heard nothing by Sunday. I'd... I'll have to go back. Hey, well, look, I'll have a word with the lads and we'll have a whip round for your plane ride. Oh, thanks, Neville, but don't do that. Don't ever want long faces, do we? No, I suppose not. Hey, look, do you fancy a beer over the club? I thought you were trying to save your money. Well, I am, but it doesn't seem that important now. <laughs> you don't try that. The thing about Indian food is, right, it's very, very, very low in carbohydrates. Yeah. So that, combined with the various herbs and spices used in the cooking process, it all makes up for a very, very yeah. healthy diet, sir. Aye. So how come that all so skinny, then? I look skinny. A wiry man, I like whippets. Yes, what you'll be like without that ale gut. Hey, hey, this is all muscle, this, son. You know, I like the stuff between your lugs. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here we go. Oh, steaming hot chicken curries. Oh, it's uh, far be it from me to cast aspersions on your undoubted talent as a mime artist, but uh, that's not chicken. It's prawn. Prawn? Ah, oh, you know, man. Prawn? <laughs> what, are you laughing at? <laughs> oh, here comes the curry brigade. Come on, boys. That's what you're having a quiet night in. Ah, well, we're in here and it's quiet, isn't it? <laughs> How would it go? All right, oh, good lovely, good. Lovely, good. Lovely. He never spoke any English, man. None of them, just German. <laughs> never got one damn thing last for. I told him, like, I said, look, we're not coming back here until you get a waiter on hope and speak the King's English. Oh, I know, but he didn't speak English, did he? So that was a waste of time. Yeah, you hadn't started oh. flapping your hands around like an hysterical owl. Oh, we're not dead guts now. Well, I noticed you never left none. Oh, I did all right, yeah, I've got some seeds, cop for some seeds from here. God, long gonna grab. The Percy throw it at us or not? Yeah, how do you know what the seeds are if they couldn't even get the food right? Like you end up with a geeping beanstalk. God, <laughs> Mark, I don't care. But beanstalk. <laughs> hey, hold on, lads, man. There's a man outside. Had a curry last yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, we now was. We were with you. What do you reckon the soil's like? I'll let you know when I find some, shall I? It's all industrial slurry, this is, you know. Uh, very reminiscent of Tipton. Our family had an allotment back home, you know. Yeah? That's very important, that is, you know. Yeah, traditional rights of the urban working class, that is. What sort of things did you grow? Oh, I didn't grow nothing. Dad used it to bury all the gear he nicked from Ford's. Oh, I see. So you're telling me one day a little Cortina Mark III will sprout forth? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Who's died in the night then, eh? Ah, oh, well, the original one, yeah. The only the, uh, only the fifth person to make that remark in the last ten minutes. <laughs> all right, all right. So, uh, what you doing, eh? Come on. Blocked down the curry house last night. Right. Give us some seeds. We're planting an herb garden. Oh, yeah. Well, listen, son. Put me down for a couple of sprigs of the old bob. I ain't had a decent smoke since I've been out here, have Typical I? Typical, that is, isn't it, eh? Here we are, trying to produce life-enhancing vegetation. <laughs> and all you can think about is mind-destroying drugs. Yeah. yeah, well, please yourself, son. Listen, I wouldn't go playing up the old site, you know? They might want to build on it. It is theirs after all, you know? Well, if that's the case, we'll make a personal plea to head groom, well, won't we? Aye? Ask him to change his plans in the interest of conservation, eh? Hey, Nev. Nev, I'm going down for a beer later. Do you fancy one down the club, mate? Ah, uh, no, thanks, mate. I'm on a bit of an economy drive. Eh? Um, oi, keep off the grass. <laughs> All right, lads? Hey, Nev, 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 herb garden. Go oh. on. How's it going, then? Oh, great. We're almost ready to put the seeds in. Hey, do you want to give us a hand uh, plant some seeds? Ah, uh, no, I can't, Barry. I've got to go into town, plant a few seeds of me one. What's he mean by that?
What's he after, Dennis? Near your two family favourites. It's all changed now, you know. Divvy David on a Sunday lunchtime. Ah, oh, so that. Hey, what happened to the sultry voice of Jean Metcalf? Eh? BFP or Dusseldorf could do with her. Part of the great British Sunday, she was. Oh, there's a beer here, Kurt, will you, Where are we, you lads? Hey, did you win? Ah, oh, I couldn't find anyone to play with, could we? Ah, there we go. Making one for everybody, mate. Church man has shied off. Is that some sort of religious holiday or something? Oh, like Sunday, you mean? Ah, so we just had to give him a three pots in against the side of the hut. Hey, I hope you didn't trample over our ape yet. Was that what it was? I thought it was a six yard box. Aye. No more Jean Metcalf, eh? Part of my grown up process, she was. Sound of her voice, the smell of beef roasted in the kitchen, and go hand in hand. A glass of shandy with Grandad. Then in the parlor for a Sunday dinner. Then a hot bath where sing something simple. Then uh, pretend to do homework while Pick of the Pops was on. Ah, Sundays were really bloody boring when I was a kid. Any coins, lads? They're gonna make a quick follow. Right. Oh, oh what am I doing? Tell me you're getting all soppy and slavish. Shut it out. Oh dear me, your good mood didn't last for long, did it? Well, hey, good for you, lads. Hey, go, fellas. 23 marks of assaulted intrigue, violence, and sex. Right, oh, that's just a football, eh? <laughs> well, lads, 1 3 1 are we? Hey, us, us, what um, uh, Adam is doing, eh? Uh, 1 1, commentary. Mm -hmm. 4 1 again, Moxie. Oh, great. 3 0, eh? It's nice stopping them, is it? Oh, man, you know what you've went and done, man. Get off! These are the pretty Scottish editions, man. I'm going to read a bit of the and done, do you, Billy? Oh, great, great, yes. I want the gratitude I'll give them down the news, Doc. Give them bloody newspapers. Great. Hello, Patty. Here we go. Can I share them? Right, OK, then, my love. I'll see what I can do. Sorry, It might have to be the train, though, because I'm a bit strapped at the moment. I'll call you again later from wherever I got to. I've got no runners. I've got no runners? Okay, then. Bye-bye. Oh, shut up. 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 Oh, sh
doesn't matter with him. You fall out the wrong side of the coffin. Aye, well, you see, Oz reckons that you're letting the hook spirit down by going off on your own. So as a mark of his disapproval, he sent you to Coventry. Or whatever the German equivalent of Coventry is, Dresden. Thanks, my love. But what did this note of Tracy say there? She says nobody cares about me here, so I'm going somewhere else. Don't worry. Well, what does she mean, nobody cares? I don't know. Well, the two of you haven't been rocking, have you? Bomb her. We hardly see enough of each other to say hello, never mind have a ruck. I'm so busy, we only meet in the kitchen at breakfast and tea time. Even then, she's doing her own work, and I'm asleep in this armchair from exhaustion. If she had something on her mind, I'd be a fat lot of use to her. But then I'm the only one she's got at home now. Oh, I thought this would wind up my end of the table. And why shouldn't it? If you'd been here instead of in Germany, none of this would have happened. I'd have been here instead of in Germany if there wouldn't be in here. The bloody bailiffs have had us all out by now. You don't think I enjoy working abroad, do you? Oh, not much. Being separated from you and the kids is the price I have to pay for keeping our heads above water. Life of Riley. That's what you lead out there, Bomber. Don't think I don't know that. Patsy, for pity's sake. Our daughter's gone missing and listen to us. Now, I know you've got a lot on your plate, girl. Race knows I do. But if I were to come back here to go on the door, I, I'd drag you all under with me. I'm sorry. I'm so worried I've got to take it out on someone. I know, girl. I know. <coughs> All right, boy. I might be, son. No, I say, yeah, yeah. So why we ordinary mortals have to put up with a cup of coffee and a bar of table around? Wayne's idea of Tiffy is entirely different. Yeah, well, son. She's been hanging around here for half an hour, so she must want something, eh? I've heard of rock groupies, Wayne, but never, uh, never cement groupies. Yeah, Barry, I'll use that as my opening line. Wonder if you can grow bromide. Good and tub. Huh? Big eights. Sorry, I don't speak German. Hey, you're a long way from home, aren't you? What is it, Netball Tour of Europe or something, darling? No, I come to see my dad. He works here. Oh, yeah. Bomber Buzzford, he's called. I'm Tracy. Ah, got news for you, Tracy. He's not here, is he? No, he took off last night back to Bristol to try and find you. Well, bugger it. Yeah, um... Well, look, you can't hang round here, love. There's all to Randy Turks on this site. You better come up here. Take this, right? Now, there's a bar down the road. You can get a nice cup of coffee and a game of pinball. Uh, if you hang on there till one o'clock, me and some of your dad's mates will come and sort it out, all right? Tom. Yeah, okay. What's your name, then? Wayne, isn't it? Thank you, Wayne. See you at one, then. Mind how you go, love. Where's your fancy gun tonight? Dennis? Every day you ask the same daft questions. Look, man, it's 11 o'clock in the morning, man. So what, then? Why can't we not just get through the day before we start thinking about the night, eh? Well, that's the only way I can get through the day, man, thinking about the night, you know? It's like the carrot and donkey principle, isn't it? Pierre and donkey more like that. Shut right. your face, you. All right? Mine and Dennis's social activities have got nothing to do with killjoys. I'm not a killjoy. I've just got to change my priorities for a couple of weeks, that's all. Oh, aye, aye. I don't suppose they include coming out on a drink with your mates, do they? Oh, are you talking to us now, are you? What's Brenda got you saving up for that's so important, eh? Must be bloody important if you'll ditch your own good work and mates over it. Hey. Well, I was supposed to be in company. Are you good? Mum's daughter's here. Huh? We're here. Yeah. And between you, me and the gatepost, mate, she's the right piece of gel bait. Where is she? Hello, 
away. Hey, right. Joe. You want to do it? Um, Tracy, these are some of your dad's mates. That's Neville, Oz, and Dennis. Oh, hello. hello, love. Yeah, right in there. Come on, love. Let's go and have a sit down, shall we? Okay, okay. okay. over here. That's it. Right. Yeah, See what you mean about jail, bit? Yeah, oh, just get the beers in, will you? Right, right, yeah. What do you have a drink, love? Do you have a Coke or a 7-Up? Oh, yeah. I'll have another William Schnapps, please. My dad told me all about it. Uh -huh. Nice, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Coke. Well, she's just said she's one. <laughs> So, um, how'd you get here then, Pat? I hitched. Got a job not from Swindon right over to Bremerhaven. He was called Wayne too, only that was his last name. Uh-huh. Uh, now then, I take it that you know your dad's not here, Tracy. Yeah, silly sod's gone back home. Well, I mean, he only did that because he was worried about you, you know. There was no need to worry. I'm 16. I'm old enough to look after myself. Mm-hmm. Um... What are you going to do then, love? Eh? Well, uh, obviously, I think we should phone Bomber and let him know that Tracy's safe. Uh, in the meantime, I think you should stay with us. Now then, uh, I know you're a big girl, Tracy, but this is a foreign country, you see. Does that mean I can stay in your hotel? Uh, hotel? Yeah, my mum said that's where you all lived. They've got a bar and video games and swimming pool, haven't they? Oh, the pool's empty just now, Pat. Hey, uh... How are we going to get her in past the Eric's, eh? I mean, we can't leave her here all afternoon, can we? Mm. Did you, hey, did any of you ever see Albert or N? Seen Albert Bennett? Oh, what a centre forward he was. Yeah. Listen, nip over and warn Barry and Moxie we've got a lady guest, right? right. That means no swearing, no swanning around bare arsed, no... no breaking wind, right? Unless it's underneath the sheets, OK? Right. Now, all that applies to you is the fact especially to you. All right, all right, I know how to go on, man. Right. And another thing and all, let's have all those pornographic pin-ups off your locker, right? That's not pornography, man. Dennis, that's art. But for all in October's art. All right. Look, I'm going out the phone bomber, right? Just get them off. Yeah, that's just how the estate agent described it, love. Basic. Still, it's nice that the company gives you somewhere to rest during the day. Say it's going back to the hotel, I suppose. Dennis. Dennis. Oh, thank God for that. She's safe. What? Yes. Yes. Oh, I think that's the best as well. Oh, bummer. I'll head straight back there now. Come on. Cheers, Dennis. Oh, my. And thanks. Whatever's happened. Well, you would never guess what. Tracy turned up there this morning looking for me. In Germany. Got all the way over there by herself. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh my God. Oh. Oh. Well, will she be all right? She'll be fine. Don't worry. She's standing up with Dennis and Neville. Huh. And Wayne. And Oz. Hey, Dennis, have you thought about where this lass is going to kill? Ah, yeah, I think we should put Bomber's bed into the storeroom for the night. It's isolated from the rest of them. And I put her in there, man. It's full of dirty old bags of cement and plaster. That's filthy, man. It's you I'm putting in there, man, not her. Ah, did you catch up with Barry and Moxie? Hi. Hey, you should have seen Barry's face. He blushed bright pink. The Moxie's away down the town to get himself a new pair of pyjamas. <laughs> well, I can't see what all the fuss is about me. Look, man, it is for the one night. Nobody's fussing. We've just got to make this last welcome, you know, make sure she doesn't get in any trouble. Yeah, make sure she doesn't go to the sack. Mr. Patterson. Oh, you uh, This is a pleasant surprise. What can we do for you? You can tell me where Busbridge is. Uh, where, well, Mr. Busbridge, you had to go back to uh, England to sort out a uh, little domestic problem, but uh, he'll be back in time for work tomorrow. Why was this not reported to me? Well, we didn't think it was necessary for the one night, like, you know. But I might have wanted to make a replacement. 
You must keep me informed. I need to know everything that happens on the site. Don't worry, Mr. Ulrich. We'll not, not tell you about anything else. I hope so, Osborn. I hope so. Oh, one other thing. There are strange happenings at the hut. What sort of happenings? A patch of earth has been dug up and cordoned off. Why? Oh, that, that, that's just a few of the lads making a little garden for themselves, you know. Try and brighten the place up a bit, like. Oh, yes, I've uh, heard of this English passion for gardening. But I did not think to see it on the German building site. Oh, well, this is our little home now, Harold Rick. Yeah. We've got to make the best of it. Yeah. Well, you may continue with your work. <laughs> Very kind of you. <laughs> kind? So we thought we're digging a tunnel, man. <laughs> Hello, love. Hello, Wayne. I hope you don't mind if I borrowed your Walkman. And you help yourself, darling. You're all right. <laughs> you be 40, eh? Do you like them, dear? Yeah. Them were mad. <laughs> and Kim Wilder caught. Do you like her? Likes putting it mildly, innit? And her records ain't too bad, either. <laughs> I, uh, borrowed one of your magazines as well. Oh, you'll go blind, you will. So, been all right? To cope all right in here, huh? Yeah, such I'm going to go to the toilet. You must be, mustn't you? Well, look, if you can hang on for five minutes, darling, we'll organise something. Because uh, they'll have to be back in a minute. Oh, that's a pity. Yeah, right. Well, um, first one in always brews up. <laughs> I already made a part. I was expecting to see. You're a proper little housewife, you are, aren't you? Oh, pour a cup of tea with him, will you? Oh, my throat just dries up, will you? What? Oh, I mean, I'm very thirsty. Hey, Grace, have everything been all right? Good, Sammy. Hey, yes, go here, Dad. He's going to be a back. Smash it, eh? Hey, Dennis, she only had the tea ready and waiting, didn't she, eh? Did she know that? Very nice, thank you. All right. You can come again, Pat. Level. Molly. Right. Come and say hello to Tracy. Oh, all right. Hi, hello, Tracy. Very pleased to make your acquaintance. Hello. Wayne was wrong about you. You don't have a bad complexion at all. No, 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 that's, that's my mate, Moxie. All right, dear. Uh... Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, yes, sorry, I see what you mean. You must be the radish, then. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Here, Den. Uh, Tracy would like to make use of the um, facilities, you know? Yeah. Oh, of course, Pet. Um, yes, uh, the thing is, we'll, we'll just have to make sure that they're not occupied. You see, this is a, a men-only site, you see? Um, Oz! What? Uh, escort Tracy down to the, uh, the amenities hut, will you? What amenities hut's this? Cars are your burk. Oh, oh. And once you make sure it's empty, make sure it stays empty, right? Guard the door. Right. Now then, uh, yes, you better put your disguise on, walk you. Okay? Now then, there shouldn't be any management about. But you never know, right, you know. Walk okay, here then. Right. Straight ahead. Straight up there. Hey, lads, I reckon we should go down the club. Hey, hold on. Hold on, what are we going to do about Tracy, eh? We can't take her down the club, apart from six geezers and one bird looking a bit dodgy, mate. She can probably drink us right under the table, yes, eh? Yes, I know, I know. Ah. That's exactly why you're going to stay here and look after her. Me? Win? Yes, win. I mean, look, man, you've, you've got much more in common with her than anybody else. I mean, things like uh, music and hair, earrings. Oh. Hold on, Dennis. I don't, don't mean to be rude, but is Wayne really the right bloke to be babysitting a 16-year-old girl? Yeah, yeah, and it a bit like putting the rat in charge of the cheese larder. I don't know whether it'd be flattered or insulted by you lot. Look, man, look, I can't do it, can I? I mean, I'm nearly old enough to be a father. I mean, Neville, he'd be the obvious choice. But he's going out again, isn't he? I mean, I mean, Barry and Moxie, I mean, they'd bore the poor girl to death with a herb talk, wouldn't it? Eh? And Gardner bogged doors about the limit of Oz's responsibility. So that just leaves you, son. Yeah, well, I can see your reasoning, then, but look, you can't have helped but notice that Trace is a bit of a... Well, you know, she's a bit of a come on, isn't she? Yes, I know. And who better to cope with her than a man of the world like you, Wayne, eh? Oh, Gary. 
It's like them American TV films, innit, you know? Where they get an ex-con to go after the bad guys. Cos he's the one who knows how they think. Moxie, you've just hit the nail right on the head, son. Oh, well, thank you for that tribute, Moxie. So you all trust me, then, is that it? Of course we trust you. Look, I mean, you know that she's Bomber's daughter, don't you? Yeah. And you know that we've uh, we've put our complete trust and faith in you. And you know that uh, if you lay so much as one finger on her, we'll have your plums on a skewer. No, no, he can't go. It's, 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 it's kaput. It's kaput and knackered. Back, you'll have to go and back. Aye. No, 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 back, back. Back, back. Just me, what Mr. Boro. What are you getting Boro? so excited about, man, you blokes? Only get one batter, yeah. Just me, Shaquille. What, today is a day, is it? No, yeah, that's Mr. Boro. Thanks a lot, mate. Yeah. How are you, mate? Here we go, love. A perfect TV dinner. All we need now is a TV. I didn't know they had McDonald's in Germany. Oh, yeah, they're everywhere, love. Today, Germany, tomorrow, the world. Right, that's I'm a grocer, Mac, mit French fries, courtesy of Barry the Radish and his delivery bike. Oh, Tom. I, uh. Oh, I didn't upset him calling him back. Ah, you're all right, love. He's used to a lot worse. Don't I get one? What would your dad say, eh? Get stuck in, girl, I should think. Oh, go on, then. Just the Tom. one, though, eh? I expect you think I'm a right crack going on about that hotel. I just didn't tweak that you all actually lived in here. Uh, no. We find it a bit hard to believe ourselves, love. That was my mum's fault, see? She told me Dad was over here having a wheel at the time. Eh? Huh? Well, now you're no different, don't you? I mean... We go out for the odd drink and the occasional meal and that. That's only so as we can get out of this place, though. I, uh, suppose you see a lot of girls. No, not really. I mean, just three or four a week, you know. I reckon it's the earring and the accent they go for, you know. Well, it can't be anything else, can it? Oh, I don't know. I think you're very attractive. Yeah? <laughs> Oh, I don't think you should be talking to your babysitter like that, Tracy. Don't you fancy me, then? Yeah, of course I do. Uh, it just so happens you're the daughter of a much-valued workmate. And I'm under oath, ain't I? Apart from the threat of castration, to uh, behave myself. Nobody would know, though, would they? Look, Tracy, can we drop this, love? What? This uh, Lolita act. It's not now. Well, of course it is. I know when a bird's for real or not. And your line is straight out of Tracy or my guy, whatever you call them teenage magazines. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, love, is you're a 16-year-old schoolgirl. I mean, you're not a raver. You're not an heavy drinker or a foul mouth slaggit. So why come on like one now? Just eat your chips. Because it helps me get noticed. My mum's too busy with the other kids to listen to me and my dad's never around. What am I supposed to do? Grow up by myself? Look, Tracy, none of us is here to get away from our families, you know. Well, Oz is, and there's, you know, Dennis's problem to a certain extent, but not Bomber. He's doing it all for you, sweetheart. And, well, you could make it all worthwhile, couldn't you, by making him feel proud of you? I know. I don't really want to hurt him. He's a great bloke. I suppose I just want to be sure he still cares about me. Yeah, all right. Well... I don't think there's much doubt about that. Tracy! Dad! You're right, huh? <laughs> hey, now you tell your dad exactly what you told me, eh? And I'll see you down the bar for a quick lemonade. All right, oh, thanks, Wayne. Any time, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be two apple juices, please, by the way. As your willpower getting on, Moxie, eh? Looks as though he's had enough ridicule to meet, son. Yes, yeah, sir. Have a smell of that. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, he's going. He's going. He's going. Oh, he's going. I'm, I'm sorry, buddy. But I can make that a pain. Hey, 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 son, I think that'll be just the one apple juice, please. You know what you are, don't you, Moxie? You're a Judas. Ah. 
That was the word I was trying to think of tonight. Aye, well, it's a Bible again, you see. It's not your strong point. I was wanting to call Neville that. What's Neville done to incur your wrath then, eh? Well, he's not here, is he? Three nights running this, you know. I'm not coming out. I want to go for a walk. Look, that's because the man is trying to save up some money, man, was. Huh? And considering that's where most of his money goes, that's the best place to make economies. Oh, personally, I'd made his will follow me. Ah, but what's that got to do with him not coming out on a drink? Huh? Hey, here they are, the happy wanderers, will you? What are you going to have, hey! eh? Oh, what's his name, Snaps? How about you, Tracy? Oh, please, Wayne. We'll get a Snaps down, you go. No, thanks, Dad. I'm only 16, remember? The coke will be fine. I'm putting this young lady in a hotel tonight so she can catch the first train back in the morning. Oh. Any of you lads fancy the bite to eat in town? No bars are on me. Oh! Hey, that's just what we need, eh? Celebration, right. Uh, well, we're going to go then. Anywhere that vlogs steak will do me. I'm not going to Big Mac. No, what's up can, I make a suge can I make a suggestion that um, in, in order to avoid the outbreak of a civil war, like, no, uh, can I suggest that, um, you know, Tracy decides where you go? Good idea. What do you think about that? Well, I know that sounds silly, but I'd really like a curry. I don't suppose they have them in Germany, though. Oh, no, that's just where you're wrong, actually, Tracy. No, actually, it's just where you're wrong. Good <laughs> nubbins. Oh, table for seven, uh, uh, Seven, huh? Seven. seven. Moment. Just pull it, you man. Oh, just pull it to you, but say, get out of my hand. Just like that, right? That's nice. That's Thanks. Very nice. It's very nice. Hey, I'll tell you what, we should get Barry a Vindaloo, eh? I'll get him back on the old beer. <laughs> get him back on the party, Lou, and I'll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very funny. Right, listen, I'll so handle it this time, OK? We don't want your uh, give us a clue routine upsetting the waiter. All right, Lionel? All right, all right, all right. <laughs> oh, well, uh, let's get out. Right. Hey, Sabo! <laughs> Bloody hell, it's Clive of India. They have heard of the northwest frontier, but never the northeast. <laughs> That's what you've been doing, eh? <laughs> started in a lady. Oh, yeah. right, go on, get them all over with. Oh, I should think we've only just started, by all. Good doctor, I am in trouble. Oh, good goodness, goodness gracious me. me. <laughs> That's right. I have a good laugh. Just because I show a bit of initiative and get myself a part-time job. What on earth is Brenda saving for to reduce you to this, eh? Well, you must know it's our fifth one. An anniversary later this year. Yeah. I thought it'd be nice if we had a second honeymoon. <laughs> Dressed like that, eh? Lovely. <laughs> Give it a rest, Wayne, man, will you? Sure, where were you thinking of going, New Delhi? <coughs> I don't know, probably the same as the first time, Minorga. <coughs> I still don't know where Minorga is yet. Well, how do you think I feel, neither do I? <laughs> how much do you need, then? Oh, that's just it. I've nearly got enough, Dennis. I'm just seeing out the week. I never thought you lot would find out. <laughs> well, I tell you what. You'll get the order right tonight. Well, I'll put a good tip in, won't we, lads? Oh, yeah, 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 yes, yes. Look, now that we've got that, now that we've got that sorted out, come on, a bit of service. Go and get in. Here it goes. Boom, diddy boom, diddy boom, diddy boom, diddy boom, diddy boom, diddy boom, boom, boom. Blue lamps for round. Blue lamps for round. Hey, never. Have we got the chicken? You know, chicken on the bum, bum, bum. Do you know what? Hey, buddy! Moxie! You better get outside! The birds are eating all the ass seeds. Hey! Go on! Moxie! 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 Quick! Moxie! Ugh. Struggle up, really. You could have killed a lot of it. Tell the line with a glint in your eye. That's tomorrow 